Okay, good morning. This is our um, just a weekday workout, little 15, 10 to 15 minute um, workout. You can obviously multiply, um, repeat these moves to make this longer. But basically, we're going to start on our mat. We're going to do a little bit of breathing, um, and then we're going to work through seven stations. So we're going to do each little um, activity for one minute. Um, so the entire circuit is seven minutes, so it can be repeated over and over. Um, we're going to do forward lunges, push-ups, hold the yoga boat pose, tricep dips, um, plank. We're going to do a forearm plank to side plank, a wall sit, and then a reverse plank. So we're going to work through each of those for one minute. But let's start on our mat. I'm going to pause the music, actually, just that way it's easy to hear. Okay, weird, it wasn't pausing. <laughs> so we'll just go ahead and come on down. And we'll just um, extend the legs as wide as the yoga mat. Roll the shoulders down. Place one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart. And we're gonna do five breaths here. We're gonna inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And you wanna make sure that your exhale is longer than your inhale. So here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Four more on your own breath cycle. Two more. And last one. Exhale, bring your knees up to tabletop. Grab the back of the hamstrings. We're gonna rock and roll the spine maybe three or four times and come up to a seated position. Maybe crossing the ankles for the last one so that you can come up. We're gonna come into just a deep squat position here. So our feet, um, the goal is for our feet to be flat on the mat, but if you're not there yet, your heels can be lifted or you might stand up a little taller. So if you're wherever you are in your deep squat, you might use your elbows here to just press open the knees. And again, just to take two more breaths here, in through the nose, out through the mouth. One more. Good, from this squat, I'm gonna to turn to the side. We're going to lift the booty into the air, hands are down to the floor, gently lift, maybe this is it for this morning, maybe your legs are really tight. Inhale down, exhale, lift. We're gonna go through five more of these. Inhale, exhale, just working those hamstrings a little bit. Mine are very sore, so I'm not getting a lot of movement here, but that's okay. Three more, inhale. Exhale, two more. On this last one, I want you to hold at the top. Even if you have a really big bend in your knees, if it feels good, you might grab the elbows and hold here in rag doll. From here, maybe you shift right and then left, sway right and left. It doesn't have to be a big movement. Keep breathing, inhale. And exhale, hold five, four, three, two, and one. Release the hands, keep the chin tucked in, roll the spine up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so we're gonna get into Good morning, guys. Uh, we're going to get into our circuit now. So that was just a little warm up for us. We're going to be doing seven moves. Each one is going to last for one minute. Um, you need no equipment. It is preferable that you have a yoga mat. Um, and just to kind of protect your feet or your back. And then we are going to be doing some tricep dips, which can be done on the edge of a stairwell, um, a chair, or that sort of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and start the music, and then we will get ready.
Okay, so we're gonna start with lunges. These lunges um, are meant to be done going forward, but you can also do backwards lunges if this is a bit better for your body. We're gonna do one minute, maybe hands on hips, you option to have um, weights. One minute going forwards. Roll those shoulders down and back. And here we go, forward. Stepping, making sure you have 90 degree bends in both knees. This can be done faster, this can be done slower. If you want more of an intensity workout, you can take these into lunge jumps. Otherwise, we're just going to step. Exhale, inhale down, exhale, push off. Inhale, exhale. Halfway. The purpose of this workout, it's great for the morning because it's just gonna get your body fired up and it'll be, you know, be working all day. Nice and warm. <laughs> we have 10 seconds. Five, keep going. Four, three, two, one. Okay, now we're going right into push-ups. So we're gonna come down. You do not want your belly to hit the floor. So what you wanna do either from the feet of the knees is to come down about four inches, press up, let's go. The knees are absolutely an option here. Rest as you need. Keeping those ears over the shoulders. If you wanted to add intensity, there's a lot of ways to do that. We have about 30 seconds. Again, rest as you need. We have 15 seconds. Last five, last four. Three, two, and one. And as you need, stop and get water. All right, we're going into our yoga boat pose. So this is a holding move. So from a seated position, you're on your sits bones. You're gonna lift one knee, grabbing behind, and the other. You're kind of faking, um, you're keeping your back neutral here. And if it feels right for you, you can let go. right here. If this doesn't feel right for you, hold on. If you've got it in your practice, maybe you can extend the legs. If that's too much, go back to bent legs. Inhale and exhale. If you fall out of your boat, just come back to it. Good. Ears over shoulders. We have 30 seconds again if you need to rest. Rest here. One leg. When you feel sturdy, two legs. 20 seconds. Next up are our tricep dips. Last 10. Hold on as you need. Last five, four, three, two, one. All right, perfect. I'm gonna mosey this camera over a little bit. I'm gonna use my stairwell. You can also use a chair. And we're going to dip, tricep dip. You just need a firm edge. This can also be done on the floor. So the goal here is to lower until the elbows are at 90 degrees. Let's go. To make this harder, step the feet out. Exhale, inhale lower, exhale raise. Try not to sit the booty on the floor. If you need more, extend a leg. Halfway, rest as you need. For those of you not having a floor or chair, option here, down, up, maybe lift the legs. Good, 20 seconds. You can also do this as a modification. 
if you're tired from the stair or the chair. Last eight. Four, three, two, and one. Great job, guys. Okay, we're gonna go into forearm plank to side plank. I'll show you real quick, and then we'll go. So we're gonna be here on our forearms. We're gonna rotate up, and we're, all this is gonna match our breath. So everything gets one count. So come on down. If you wanted to do this from the hands, arms extended, you could do that as well. All right, ready? Here we go, I'll show you both ways. So we're gonna open, breathe, exhale, breathe, inhale, breathe, exhale. If you want to speed this up, side, center, side, center. You decide how you would like to move. If you need a rest, you come down to the knees, hold the plank, and then when you're ready, keep joining us. I'll show you on the forearms. Maybe try both. See which one you like more. From side, you can lift the arm or just put it on the hips. Halfway. Option. Again, rest on the knees as you need. 10 seconds. Finish here, keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're going into a wall sit. Find a wall nearby. We're gonna slide down. And we're gonna hold. So start up against the wall. Step your feet out just a little bit, about hip width apart. We're gonna start to slide down. And if your wall is kind of sticky, <laughs> scoot yourself down 90 degrees starting now, one minute. Press your low back into the wall. Think about getting your chest up. I don't know about you guys, but I'm sweating already. <laughs> We're gonna just do one round with an option for you to repeat. And I'll stay here with you. If your legs get tired, hold on to the wall. If you need to, come out of it, but try not to. Let's just breathe. Sometimes it helps to find something to look at in front of you. Inhale, exhale. We have 20 seconds. Maybe feel those quads. Feel how strong your body is here. Keep breathing, inhale. Last five, four, hands to the wall, three, two, one. Woo All right, guys, we have just one more. We're gonna do our reverse plank. So let's get down to our mat. We're gonna sit with our legs extended. Our hands are gonna be behind us, right near our butt, and you might have to adjust this. Roll the shoulders out, look up, exhale, squeeze everything together, making a straight line, ears over shoulders, and lower. Option to just hold at the top, or inhale as you lower, exhale. Inhale down. If this is too much, maybe you bend the knees and you come more into this version. Again, find what works for your body. Maybe you just hold. Get that booty tucked up. Maybe you lift and lower. 35 seconds here. What gives you the best workout, a static hold or a lower 
and a lift on the next hail. Last 10. Good, lower down. Okay guys, so that was one circuit. I'm gonna pause this video here. You are welcome to continue on with one, two, or three more rounds um, to finish whatever sort of workout you're looking forward to this morning.